back to a new video on my channel. I haven't uploaded in a very, very long time because I've been back home in the Netherlands and nothing really exciting has happened. But I'm back because I'm leaving again in one week exactly. I'm leaving on September 16 to go to Vietnam. And I wanted to make this video because it's an updated version of my video that I made last year when I talked about all the stuff I was bringing on my trip. And now I have a lot more experience about what I should and shouldn't bring, so this is going to be a better version of what's in my backpack. And this time I'm going to be traveling for a longer time, so I'll be traveling for like eight to nine months. So I'm bringing a lot more stuff and I had to pack a lot more efficiently. So yeah, this is going to be an updated version of last year's video. I have all my stuff laid out here and it's just like a big pile, so I'm just going to start somewhere. This is something I'm bringing. It's a first aid kit and it just has some plasters and some, you know, just first aid kit stuff in it. I have this travel sheet, which is like a mummy thing you can put over yourself if you're in a bed that's not that clean or, you know, just use it as a sheet. I'm bringing this. This is a, a cover for your backpack. It's waterproof and it's very helpful for when it's raining. I'm also bringing this. This is a plug three sockets in it and it's just easy to charge all your stuff. This is a thing clip for over this thing. So you put this around your backpack and then you clip it with this one and so it's all safe and secure. It's also very useful for traveling on an airplane because then your backpack won't get stuck all the loose things that hang from it so it's all secure we put these around it this is something useful it's a flashlight always helpful when if you're in a spot that has no electricity some islands in Cambodia had no electricity um, especially at night you have to have a flashlight okay so I have this big bag of like health, health stuff I guess and this contains like a bag full of pills um, I have pills for bladder infection, I have Advil and I have this um, thing you can put in water when you feel like you're getting dehydrated. I have some bug spray, I have two of these because they run out really easily and they're very expensive to buy in Asia so I just thought I'd bring, yeah, more. <laughs> this is to put on a wound to disinfect it. Strepsils, very very useful if you're getting a cold, these are a lifesaver. Loads of capsules, tampons, obviously. Band-aids, very, very useful. This is one of those things you measure your temperature with. It's also very useful because uh, having a fever is always very indicating for some kind of disease, you know? No spray, also for when you're getting a cold, it's very, very useful. Yeah, I have another one of these bug sprays. I have, yeah, this one. I don't know if it's available anywhere else, but it's very, very good. Yeah, that's about it. I only have a lot of tampons left in this bag, so then I have another bag full, full, full of makeup stuff because you can buy makeup in Asia, but it's really expensive or they put whitening stuff in it, especially stuff for your face or your body, they put whitening in it, so that's not, yeah, that I don't want whitening on my skin, so I brought a lot of my makeup extras. So this is all extras that I'm bringing, yeah, just because I don't have it there or it's really expensive. I have a lot of these facial wipes, I actually bring four of these. Sunscreen, always, always bring sunscreen. I have extra toothbrushes in a little bag, razors, deodorant, very, very useful. Uh, yeah, just concealer, a BB cream that I use. I have an extra mascara, another one concealer. Yeah, that's about it. I just have double this. Oh, an extra shower gel. What else? What else? Yeah, that's all that's in this bag, I guess. All doubles of my makeup. Then I'm getting to clothing, which is one thing I've really learned is uh, which clothing you are gonna wear and which clothing you aren't gonna wear. So I have these little bags, which are really useful, and this one contains my shorts. And I'm bringing four pairs of shorts. So the first one is like this pajama shorts thing. I'm bringing one of these flowy shorts, one pair of denim shorts, and one pair of black shorts. 
and these two I also brought last year and I wore them all the time. I didn't wear my other ones so I know I'm gonna wear these ones on this trip again and these ones just I bought this year but I think they'll be very very good for this trip. Next up are tops. This is where I put all my tops in and I just have a lot of basic tops. Especially tank tops are really really nice because tops with sleeves are often way too hot. So I'm bringing about 13 or 14 tops. I don't know, I brought about the same amount last year and I only wore like five of them and now I'm bringing those five that I wore last year and I'm bringing some others that I bought and just acquired over the year and I'm hoping I will wear all of them this time. Okay, this bag contains my bikinis. I'm bringing uh, three bikinis and last year I brought my bathing suit but I, did, I only wore it like once and I didn't have to wear it then. I also could have worn a bikini so I'm just bringing bikinis this time. This bag contains underwear and socks. I'm bringing a lot of underwear because you're always going to be basing your washing schedule on how much underwear you have left. So the more underwear you have, the less often you have to wash your clothes. And I have this bag of clothing and this is just like random stuff. So I have a little dress that I bought last year. It's really nice for going to the beach to put over your bikini. I have one top that's um, like this sport material, sport top. I don't know, I just thought like we're gonna stay in Vietnam for three months. I thought maybe I would go to the gym. I don't know, we'll see. This is a cover up for going to temples, really useful. I have some bras in here. I have one long sleeve t-shirt, which is really useful if you're traveling by bus or train or anything in Asia. They put the AC on so high, so it's really, really cold and you really wanna have some layers. So I brought one long sleeve top, which is not too heavy. It's not like a jumper or a sweater. So it's not going to take up too much space in your backpack, but it's still an extra layer to put on when you're really cold. I also have this. This is a, a pillowcase because, I don't know, you sleep with your face in your pillow, so I like having my own pillowcase. Um, I'm bringing two jumpsuits. This is one, this is from uh, Boohoo, I believe. It's just really flowy and nice. This one is one I'm bringing as well. I brought this one last year as well, and it was... Just the best thing ever, you just chuck it on and you have a whole outfit together. So I really love this one and that's why I bought another one. Because jumpsuits are just the best when you're traveling, it's so easy. This is my shower uh, bag. This contains all of my shower stuff. It contains like body lotion, um, just stuff for my hair, um, an extra sunscreen, just hair oils, uh, razor blades deodorant, dry shampoo, some tampons in here, I have some what are these thingies called in English, I don't know, you know, where you put your laundry on, they're very useful if you want to hang anything, and I have a lot of hair ties, because you always lose them and you need them, when it's hot you want to tear your hair, I have like a hundred. <laughs> I'll also be bringing this bag, this is my toiletry bag. It contains more of the facial wipes, a toothbrush, toothpaste, um, more nose spray, facial cream, um, lip balm stuff. Yeah, what I use to take off my makeup every night and stuff like that. I'll also be bringing one big um, cardigan, uh, a zip-up hoodie thing because it's gonna be cold on the bus, like I mentioned, and on trains and stuff, and you wanna have something, yeah, so to keep you warm. And I'll also be bringing my North Face jacket because it's waterproof and it's really useful if you go on like um, a hike or something and it's raining, like we had last year in Sapa. It was raining so much and I bought the jacket there and it fit in my backpack and it's like really compact if you just fold it nicely so it won't take up too much space. So yeah, and if I have space left in my backpack, I'll be bringing my um, goggles and my snorkel because I brought them last year and they were just really useful if you want to go snorkeling without a tour or anything. You have your own to just snorkel around. Oh yeah, and if I have space left in my backpack, I'll also be bringing my tripod because it's really useful if you want to take a picture. If I want to take a picture of me and Sonia together, it's and I don't want it to be like a selfie, you can put it on a tripod. I have a really light one, small one, but 
I don't know, I just have to see if I have any space left in my backpack. So yeah, this is all the stuff that's going inside my backpack. I obviously have my carry-on luggage, which is like my uh, Fjallraven backpack. Yeah, I'm bringing all my camera stuff, my drone, my um, just money and passports and everything is going in there. If you want to see a video about that, just give this video a like and I will make another video showing you what I'm bringing camera-wise and lenses and what my drone is like and all that stuff. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and stay tuned for all the vlogs because they're coming really, really soon. And yeah, bye guys.